You might just ditch every other SEO tool out there after watching this video because for just $10 a year, you can do all your keyword and competitor research with this one browser extension. I'm talking about Keywords Everywhere, the easiest and most affordable paid tool available. Here's how it works. After adding the extension to your Chrome or Firefox browser, simply type a topic or keyword into Google. Then beneath the search bar, it shows you that search terms, average monthly search volume, cost per click and competition for Google Ads, and its monthly search volume over the past 12 months, also known as trend data. On the right-hand side of the results, you can see how hard it'll likely be to rank for this term using the overall SEO difficulty score provided by Keywords Everywhere, which is also broken down by off-page and on-page difficulty. Then scroll down to get more keyword ideas, such as related keywords, people also search for, and long tail keywords. To see their metrics, click load metrics and Keywords Everywhere sorts them by average monthly search volume. You can easily copy these, export to a CSV spreadsheet, or click on the stars to save the ones you like, or save them all. And check this out, it even shows you metrics in Google's autocomplete dropdown. Competitor research, this tool has you covered there too. Under each web page in the search results, you'll get relevant SEO data like domain authority, estimated search traffic to that page, but also for its entire domain, and the number of keywords each ranks for. When you hover over any of these, Keywords Everywhere gives you an expanded view with more details and options. But I especially love the feature Show Backlinks, where you can find the links going to that page or for the entire domain which you can copy or export to a CSV. And it does this all without you ever having to leave the search results page. Keywords Everywhere not only works on Google, but also YouTube, Amazon, Google Search Console, and it even works on ChatGPT. This is a fantastic all-in-one tool for the average marketer. And to any SEO newbies, this is the first keyword research tool I typically recommend. And to everyone else, it's definitely one to have in your tool set. It's certainly my go-to for simple, easy keyword research, and for the cost, you can't beat it. Keywords Everywhere uses a pay-as-you-go pricing model, where $10 gets you 100,000 credits, and the packages go up from there. Each keyword costs you one credit, and your credits expire after one year. I'll explain how credits work in more detail in just a bit, but to give you an idea of how many credits you'll need, I use this on a daily basis, and 100,000 credits will usually last me at least six months, sometimes even the entire year. So start with the $10 package. I should also mention that Keywords Everywhere has a free option too. With this, you'll still be able to see the SEO difficulty scores, the data below each web page in the results, and the keyword ideas in the side widgets. However, you won't be able to view any metrics on these. If you try clicking load metrics, it's gonna prompt you to buy credits. And you won't get any data beneath the search bar either. So for $10, I say, come on. But honestly, I don't know how these guys make a profit with this thing because it's so affordable. Now let's talk about some of the advanced features. These are what, in my opinion, makes Keywords Everywhere comparable to some of the more popular and pricier SEO tools out there. Let me show you some of my favorites. First, you can find the exact keywords any page or website is ranking for. Just hover over the keywords area under the web page. If you wanna find the keywords for just that page alone, click here. If you wanna see all the keywords this entire website is ranking for, Click here. In this example, we'll check out the keywords for just this article. Keep in mind, this will use up as many credits as keywords listed here. A new tab opens up and you can see which keywords this specific article ranks for, 
what position it ranks in, and the estimated search traffic. My only complaint is that you can't sort these, at least at the time of this recording, so you have to export to a spreadsheet to do so. Now that you know how to find a website's top keywords, perhaps you want to see its top ranking pages or content. In that case, click here. In a new tab, Keywords Everywhere sorts them by estimated search traffic and shows you the number of keywords that page ranks for. And this feature doesn't use up any credits. Another way you can use both these features is by simply opening up any web page in your browser. Once you're on the web page you want to analyze, click on the Keywords Everywhere icon. Then select Organic Ranking Keywords or Get Top Ranking Pages. By the way, these are great to use on your own website as well. And while I'm here, I should also mention that there's a number of other advanced features you might want to check out as well. Like My Favorite Keywords where you can find and sort all the keywords you've saved. The next feature I'm going to mention is Find Long Tail Keywords, which can be found at the top of the SEO difficulty widget. This bad boy will give you way more keyword ideas than what's usually available in the side widgets. And it gives you the ability to sort and filter the results. The key to getting the most keyword options from this is by using it on very broad search terms, like in this case, Invisalign. Note, this feature will use up one credit per keyword it finds. So it can, and most likely will, use up several credits. And unfortunately, there's no way of knowing beforehand how many keywords it'll find. So just beware. And lastly, let me show you how Keywords Everywhere works on ChatGPT. Make sure the extension is turned on. Then in the left hand sidebar, you'll see the option Templates with the Keywords Everywhere icon. These are prompts that allow you to do some pretty cool stuff like get the search intent for specific keywords you're considering, create a blog post outline, and write your SEO titles and descriptions. And this feature even works with the free version of Keywords Everywhere, at least for now. Now, here are some of my top tips when using the tool. First, by default, Keywords Everywhere will be set to give you global results. I like to set the country so I'm able to get more specific data, since most of my clients and audience are in the US. And I recommend doing this if your audience is limited to one of these specific countries, or if you're doing keyword research for a local business. Next, I'll recommend some specific settings. To find these, click the gear icon. Under data source, make sure this is set to Google Keyword Planner plus Clickstream data. This will give you a wider variety of keyword results. Metrics highlighting is useful if you want to call attention to keywords with a specific search volume. For example, anything over 150 average monthly searches. Here's how it'll look once it's turned on. Next, under credit usage for widgets, I highly recommend you toggle all these off. If these are left on, you won't get the option to load metrics in the side widgets. Instead, Keywords Everywhere will automatically show them with every search you do, which will use up your credits much faster. Under Miscellaneous Settings, you'll be able to customize the tool to your liking. Make sure Show Find Keywords button and Show Difficulty Metrics are toggled on to get those features I showed you earlier. And I'm a big fan of seeing metrics in the autocomplete dropdown. But note, your credits will be used up based on the number of suggestions shown in the dropdown, which can vary. Again, one credit for each of these. I also like to turn off the Show Add All Keywords and Show Export CSV buttons. If left on, you'll see these at the bottom of your screen every time you're on Google, which I find kind of annoying. 
My final tip is to turn off the extension anytime you're not needing it. That way you won't burn credits on your everyday searches. So now that you've seen the pros and cons and how I use keywords everywhere, I hope you gained a ton of value. Check out the links in this video description for more resources on keyword research and tools like this one. And while you're here, watch my next video and the number of keywords for that page and website. And check this out. It even show And check this out. It even shows you metrics in the autocomplete And check this out even <laughs>